Business leaders and governments fear that demand for energy could soon outstrip supply in Southeast Asia, threatening economic growth. To help meet demand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam plan to build nuclear power plants in the next decade. Others in the region hope to follow them. Vietnam's Atomic Energy Commission chairman, Vong Hu Dun, says plans to build at least eight nuclear plants will help ensure Vietnam's energy security and reassure foreign investors. Now Vietnam, we have uh, we sorted to uh, to many electricity, so that uh, investment they worry about it. You no, know, so that uh, to ensure the stable uh, supply of electricity is very important. The Philippines' Bataan plant is the only nuclear power facility in Southeast Asia, but because of concerns about earthquakes and a nearby volcano, it was never used. The Philippines is considering using the 27-year-old plant, but Cirilo Bautista, the officer in charge of it, says new workers must be trained. Our experts are already senior citizens. I mean, they are getting old and others have died already. But when our nuclear power program will be organized, we can again develop this expertise, train in other countries with nuclear power plant expertise. Safety is not the only reason Southeast Asia has been slow to develop nuclear power plants. They are far more expensive than other kinds of power stations. So governments continue to construct hydropower dams and seek out new sources of fossil fuels, despite pollution concerns. Bob Kamandanu is chairman of the Indonesian Coal Mining Association. And coal today remains as a cheap source of electricity. How can we avoid that? Of course, the answer to this is technology. We have to improve the technology, how to reduce the emission. We cannot avoid to use coal, but we can uh, work together uh, how to reduce the emission out of this coal. Energy experts say the challenges to nuclear power mean it will expand slowly in Southeast Asia's energy mix. Daniel Scharf, VOA News, Bangkok.